Hi, it's Mrs. Raff here, and today I'm going to read you a story called Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow. It's written by Kat Zhang, and it's illustrated by Charlene Chua. Bow, like bow. That's how we say that word. Bow as if we are bowing. Amy Wu and the perfect bow. Amy can do a lot of things. She can brush her teeth. She can tie her shoe. She can even do both at once, sort of. But there's one thing Amy cannot do. She cannot make the perfect bow. Sometimes they come out too small. Sometimes they come out too big. Sometimes she adds too much filling. Sometimes not enough. And sometimes they fall apart before they reach her mouth. They are little dumplings, aren't they? Amy's mom and dad make perfect bow. So does her grandma. Their bow are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy could eat bow all day, and sometimes she does. Do not disturb. Today, Amy is going to do it. She's going to make the world's most perfect bow. Bow making is an all day event. Amy's dad starts in the morning, mixing together the ingredients for the dough. Then, it's time to knead, knead, knead. He pushes the dough. He punches the dough. Amy gives it a try too. That looks like fun. They leave the dough to rise. Amy keeps an eye on it just in case it grows bigger and bigger and even bigger. Amy's dad squishes the dough down just in time. He rolls it into a log and cuts it into pieces. Meanwhile, Amy's mom seasons meat for the filling. Mushrooms, garlic, pepper, salt, and ginger. Yum. Everyone gathers around the table and rolls up their sleeves. It's time to get to work. Amy's first bow turns out a little funny, and so does the second. It's hard to know how much filling to add. Too little, and the bow is sad and empty. Too much, and oops! Guess the cat gets that one. It's also hard to pinch the bow just right. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Amy watches her mom make a perfect bow. She watches her dad make a perfect bow and her grandma too. They all try to teach her. Roll out the dough like this, says Amy's dad. Use just enough filling, says Amy's mom. Pinch, 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 says Amy's grandma. Look at her face. She's getting very frustrated. But Amy's bow just aren't the same. They are too empty, too fat, they have holes in them, and they leak. Maybe today won't be the day after all. Maybe Amy just can't make a perfect bow. Then Amy has an idea. 
The pieces of dough were cut for grown-up hands, but Amy's hands are very small. She whispers her idea into her grandmother's ear. Amy's grandma cuts each piece of dough into two smaller pieces, Amy-sized pieces. Now they fit perfectly in Amy's palms. Carefully, Amy, Amy rows the dough so it's thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. She adds just the right amount of filling. She pinch, pinch, pinches it shut. And there it is, Amy's perfect bow. She makes another and another and even more after that. She's a bow making master. Soon the dough and filling are gone. Everyone is tired, but they're not done yet. Amy's grandma boils a big pot of water. It's time to steam the bow. Amy keeps an eye on the steamer just in case. All her perfect bow and all the imperfect ones too are snug inside. The bow are done. Amy's mom lifts the lid off the steamer. Whoosh! Out comes a poof of steam. Amy can't see anything at all. The steam clears. There are Amy's perfect bow. They are not too small. They are not too big. They have just the right amount of filling and they do not leak. They are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy tastes one, then another. Then she eats one of the not so perfect bow and you know what? It tastes just as good. Look at this. She looks like she shared her bow with everyone at school. And in the back is a family recipe for bow and also for the dough and the filling and then the instructions on how to put them together and cook them and there is a bow and here's a picture of the author and the illustrator and here is the back cover bow one or more chinese steamed buns with savory or sweet filling. I loved that story. It made me wanna try and make some bao myself. Do you have a family recipe? Maybe someone can teach you how to make it. Thanks for listening.